Today we'll be showing you how to terminate Leviton 900 micron fiber fast cam UPC connectors using fan out kits. Prepare the fiber as directed by the instructions and if desired application video for using the Leviton fan out kit. Safety when working with fiber cabling is important. Remember the following safety precautions and measures. Once the fan out kit is installed, special steps are required for successful termination of fast cam connectors. Fan out kits may display memory from being coiled in the packaging upon removal. As with cable, it is recommended to acclimate the fan out kits to the operational room temperature 24 hours before use. Unlike tight buffered fiber, the fiber moves freely in the fan out tubing after insertion. If the tubing has any curvature while marking or cleaving the fiber, it may affect the usable cleaved length of fiber when terminating to a connector. To eliminate this effect, the following steps are recommended when terminating to fan out or other frication tubing. Tape the fan out legs to the work surface just beyond the exit from the fan out kit housing. Slide the boots over the fiber before you start the termination process. The cable should be inserted into the small end of the boot first. Straighten out the tubing and tape the far end of the leg to the work surface approximately six inches back from the end of the fan out tubing for marking and measuring of the fiber prior to cleaving. Make sure a sufficient length of 250 micron bare fiber is exposed from the end of each fan out tube. Leviton recommends at least 35 millimeters. This required length may vary based on the style of precision cleaver being used. Refer to the cleaver manufacturer documentation for specific requirements. Make a mark on the tubing 12 millimeters back from the exit point of the fiber. Run the fiber stripper over the bare fiber, ensuring complete removal of the acrylate coating. Verify the acrylate coating has been removed from the fiber. Clean the bare fiber with an alcohol wipe to remove any debris. You will hear a squeak when cleaning. If no squeak is heard, recheck the fiber to ensure the acrylate coating has been removed. Maintaining a straight line and mild tension to the fan out tube, place the fiber in the cleaver and perform the cleave at a slightly longer length, 11 to 11 and millimeters than indicated in the fast cam instructions, which is 10 and millimeters. Close the first fiber door and slide the blade into the forward position. Then close the second door and cleave the fiber. Properly dispose of excess fiber. Remove the fiber from the cleaver and insert it into the open end of the connector. Gently twisting the fiber during insertion will help avoid snagging or breaking the glass. Never force a fiber into the connector. Maintaining a straight line and mild tension on the fan out tube, insert the fiber into the connector until it mates with the fiber inside the connector. The 12 millimeter mark on the fan out tube should be located just at the entrance point to the connector body. Maintain tension so it bows slightly. This ensures the cleaved end immediately mates and there are no gaps. Maintain the bow until the cams are released and locked in place. Squeeze the cam to release it and remove it from the connector. If you experience difficulty with insertion, remove and restrip the fiber, reset the cams, verifying a click for each cam and reinsert while rolling the fiber between your thumb and forefinger. Slide the boot up and twist it onto the connector housing. For more information, please visit leviton.com.